Right, this is going to a message going to little baldy Jerry, befetic Jerry Connors from Wakefield, a fellow with not a Siberian sausage to rub together. Him and his sons are a pack of wasters. Mongos, I don't know what to call them. All right. Jer Jerry, you've been doing satanic attacks for the last 12 months. You tortured the people over there in Wakefield. You're getting the people jail. Cause you, you, because at first I thought it was wrong what the people done to James, but I can only imagine what they're going through. With the mental torture you put me and my family through in the last six months, when there's big old problems going on, there was deaths in the family and on, it, was still, it still wasn't stopping you. It wasn't giving you a moment to think, well, I may, may, I may give these people 12 minute, 12 month break or something. No, the satanic attacks kept coming, kept coming. He keeps on about a yard, you push on about money that this fella got and that fella. No one belonged to be granted. No one cares, Jerry. Everybody have plenty of money. No one don't need any money. The only people need a person that needs money is you. You and your sons. You went on got your son Felix. Because he run the marathon, those chaps trained to dead. You went on got him to come out and fight me the other day. And he got me and British boys to show me fair play. I punched the face off him in seconds. He went down one knee. I took him into the ditches. When he got out, he, he tried to bite me air. I tried to hit me an out kick and said he didn't want to fight fair. He wanted a dirty go. I wanted on in. I had to beg the boys. I, I told me I'm Bridgie John and a little fat boy. I said, please, I'm begging of you boys. Let me finish him now, I said. Because now you want a dirty go. So, because I knew I was, I was too strong for him. I was too healthy. I was too... Uh, I was bouncing. And he was there like a big old dead chicken. I was going to get his head and I was going to put me two fingers in the back of his eyes. And I was going to leave him blind walking around the place. And I was going to send him back to his daddy. But I wasn't allowed. So he, he, he got a pardon that time. And he, got, he got sent back to his daddy. Bet to death, and Uncle Jerry wouldn't stop that. He thought his own mind bollocks now. Me big great white hope has been bet to death. Then he'd been threatening people. You're on about this man's name, that man's name. Keep on about people's coming in. I'm going to get the baddest man to come in and take that yard. Because you can't pay your bill. You pay my Uncle Dickens his money and get your deed signed it over, and it's all said and done. That has nothing to do with me. But there's one thing that is something to do with me. My daddy's getting out of it. He's nearly 70 years of age, I mean, mummy. You're sending fellas in and leaning and putting pressure on him. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, Jerry, and I'm not going to put a fret on this because you know I don't do frets. I just comes over and gives people maintenance. I'm going to give you, because you're not my uncle anymore, I've, that's it, the gloves is off, mate. Soon as I see you, I'm knocking you straight out. Your son, Felix, he's getting a baiting. William, where do I go, William? I'm going to grab William with his little woolly branch and my children's not going to walk him around like a dog, yeah? Oh, James, God, I, I wouldn't even argue with him. Jeremiah, all you have to do is send him into a crack house. I don't need to end to any more conversations. This let you know it's on. So everybody knows the story. Jerry Connors makes his brother out of money, yeah? And because he ain't got the money to pay him back, he thinks he can get people to go in and, and, and get that for free. Don't work like that. It's in 2024. It's, back, it's not back in the 1960s where gangs of people can come down and bully people. Now, Jerry... Baldy smackhead jury from Wakefield. It is on. Keep your guard up because wherever you're seen, you're not allowed no funerals, no weddings, nothing. I'm no fears. I'm going to everything around Yorkshire and everywhere else. And the first time I see you or any of your sons, I am going to break your two eye sockets for you. And me chillers off. I'm giving you the worst bait in you. I was going out to America. I'm not going to America now. I'm fighting fit. I've been training there for the last five months. I'm super fit and I'm ready to go in the morning. For you or any of your sons, I'll fight the fleet of you. The whole lot of you is one after another, and I'll slap you to death, and I'll put you down video. Because in my mother's life, I am fighting fit, and I'm ready to go, you little backward waste of a man. Every time you get drunk and drugged up, you send a voice note. You fucking piece of shit. You absolutely dosser. You ain't got a washer to your name. All you're good for is Mason, oh, oh people married into you, uh, Isabel. Keep Mason the people out of four or five in a pound, and then I try and make them laugh at the people. People are not, not worried about the four or five in the mountain you keep Mason about, about Vans and Yorks. The people weren't worried about that. They were more, having a more better laugh at you of thinking the idea to put it over. They were actually giving you a charity, you backward fool. You're a sh you're met a shove up and down the country. You keep saying about this and not asking about money and not a You ain't got no money. You had a chance to pay 25 grand to, 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 to Dickens. You can't even get that. Get me a money to get it together. You can get that together, could you? You dirty dosser. People's got loads of yards. I've got loads of yards. I'm not, not talking about I ain't got loads of yards. I'm no yard. I have a couple of scrap yards. But I'll tell you one thing. A big man your age, to go, and, go up and down and make a holy show of yourself, like a big, dirty, smelly dosser, you and your backward sons, 
Just keep your cigar up, because in my children's life, I am smashing it.